Hello friends, welcome to the world of e-learning. I am Rajiv Kumar working as a general professor in the Department of Agriculture Extension with the background of agriculture knowledge. Here I am providing online free coaching through my lecture video. Please go through it to enhance and increase your knowledge. From any place, any time, now you can learn through my lecture video. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the communication. In this chapter, we will discuss the basic concepts which are related to communication, then we will discuss meaning, then definition, then basic functions of communication, then models of communication, then elements of communication, and what are the barriers and types of barriers involved in communication we will discuss at the last. Okay. So firstly, we will discuss uh, the basic concepts are related to communication. The communication it has at least three phases. It consists of three phases. What are those? The first is your expression, then interpretation and response. These three consist the three phases of communication. If any hinders in these three phases, then there will be no successful communication. Okay, there will be no successful communication will occur. If the expression is not clear and interpretation is not accurate and response is not logical then one's effort to communicate will not succeed okay as it is difficult to control how an audience shall interpret the message and respond to it a powerful communication effort by the extension agent must be constantly exerted and should continuously work on it okay so first we'll discuss the frame of reference what is frame of reference? As you all know that each person has a stored experience of beliefs and values as an individual and also as a member of the society. This says that this every people, every people in this world has a stored beliefs. They have own beliefs and also they have beliefs as a member of a society. And it provides what? It provides background of stimulation which influences a person's behavior in a particular situation. Different uh, situation, they behave differently according to their background of stimulation. Okay, what they have in their experience, what they have experienced before according to they behave to different situation. Okay, just like when when a village people go to in, go to a city, they see different types of culture, dressing style of people, and they think that uh, this is not good or this is not uh, this is maybe a, a good good or bad. They they say according to their stored beliefs. Okay, they judge that what is that is the modern style in the city is good or bad their culture is good or bad they judge according to their own belief okay just like if you if you want to if you want to uh, understand of e-banking e-banking of village people then e then if you want to uh, you want to understand and teach teach the e-banking to some village people then they will not uh, listen you why they think that this will, this may be their his uh, his or her uh, bank money will be misused. So they will not listen you. They think that this this is uh, this is according to this this thinking comes from where? This thinking comes comes from their own stored beliefs. What they previously gained. Okay. The functionally, the functionally interrelated external and internal factors operating at a given time constitute the frame of reference of the answering reaction. Okay, it external and internal factors both operate at a given uh, op operate at a given time and constitute the frame of reference. Okay, next come to communication fidelity. What is communication fidelity? Communication fidelity, according to Bollo, 1960, according to Bollo has given the definition of fidelity. According to him, fidelity, fidelity, f i d e l i t y, fidelity is the faithful performance of communication process by all its elements. Okay, 
what are the elements that is your communicative message channel and receiver okay he told he, he told that uh, the faithful performance the faithful performance of what faithful performance of communication process as we know the communication process involves so many elements that is your communicator message communicator message channel receiver so it required what their faithful performance their they should work perfectly so that the fidelity will come and another thing that is a uh, noise noise is opposite to the fidelity noise and fidelity are two sides of the same coin means they are opposite to each other if noise is decreases then fidelity will increase and vice versa okay noise is indirectly proportional to the fidelity and fidelity is also indirectly proportional to the noise we can say then if a fidelity is a fidelity will be increased if noise is decreased no then the basic concern related to noise and fidelity is the isolation of those factors within each of the ingredients of communication which determine the effectiveness of communication means the basic concern of the fidelity and noise is is what to isolate that factors we have to isolate that factors which determine that effectiveness of communication so that we will uh, we will uh, able to know which factors which factors is affecting the communication okay accordingly we will increase the communication effectiveness okay next come to communication gap communication gap communication gap is nothing but the difference between what was communicated by the extension agent and what has actually been received by the audience okay it is just the difference the gap between what the what has actually received by the audience what has and what was actually communicated by the extension agent okay desirable action by the audience cannot take place if there is a large communication gap if large communication gap then we will not get any any desirable action by the audience okay the nature of communication gap may be of two types the nature of communication gap the nature of communication gap is of how many types two types that is first is your the message does not reach the target first one is what the message does not reach the target and second one is what if the message reach to reach but no it cannot able to impact it cannot able to it it does it it fails to produce the desired impact then also there will be large communication gap so these are the two types of communication nature of two types nature of communication gap okay the following steps may be taken for reducing the communication gap what are the uh, what are the steps we will know we will know what are the steps which are helps to reduce the communication gap communication must be made available and it should be made available, available in uh, according to need based and in time okay and also the we can use so many channels at a time at a time we can use so many channels not only one we will use we will use so many channels so that the your communication will be effective okay second to reduce the second second nature what is that when the message fails to produce the impact if it is reached it is reached but it fails to produce uh, fails to produce the impact so uh, for this uh, for this condition what we will do we will do what use we will use credible channels of communication credible channels means what that should be trust or the trust or the trust trust channel we should use that should be trust or the the channel which you will use that should be trust or the then we repeat the message at suitable interval again and again we will repeat the message then prevent distortion of message we will prevent what distortion disturbance in me- message distortion there is deletion 
or addition of another words extra words uh, that is not required then distinction of message deviate deviation from message that should be prevented okay then come to the next uh, fourth one is your time lag in communication what do you mean by lag lag means delay lag mean lag lag means what delay it while communication reduces time lag the communication process itself may involve some time lag there may be delay in getting the relevant information in the form of message and treat the message according to channel requirement and needs the needs of the audience okay there may be delay in organizing extension programs there may be but delay in organizing extension programs. so many here you can see that uh, in uh, time in time lag occurs due to different types of organization programs huh? uh, different uh, in uh, sometimes uh, spent uh, sometimes spent in contacting the channels and the channels themselves may require some time to attend the attend to the message in view of their pro preoccupations huh? uh, then the communicator has to remain alert and take into so that take into consideration okay here it is saying that time lag in communication so many disturbance so many uh, time will take taken will be taken by different uh, processes so we have to arrange such situation the communicator has to arrange such situation uh, and time fix uh, have to fix the time in such a way that it should reach the audience in time okay then come to your empathy what is empathy empathy is the ability on the part of one person to understand the other's person internal frame of mind and reference and accept the same this acceptance does not mean agreement okay empathy empathy means what it just the ability ability of one person to understand the other person's internal frame of mind reference internal frame of reference here here one person uh, able to know able to understand the internal frame of reference of another person and accept the same acceptance doesn't mean the agreement it is not an agreement the it just accept the things and empathy is also uh, is also defined uh, defined according to rao in 1993 as the ability of an individual to project oneself into the role of another person to be able to appropriate the feelings thinking and actions of another person okay empathy is what empathy is it just project oneself oneself it is the ability of an individual to project we just act as a, another person we just act as an another person we just role as an another person okay and appreciate the feelings thinking and action of those person to whom we are acting okay to whom we are just projecting ourselves to their feelings thinking and actions okay then come to homophily and heterophily fifth one is your homophily and heterophily fifth one is what homophily and heterophily homophily uh, according to rogers 1995 a fundamental principle of human communication is that the exchange of ideas occurs most frequently between individuals who are alike or homophilous the people who are of same time same type if the people are same type then the exchange of ideas will be easy easier it should be it will be easier and uh, just like homophily and heterophily two terms comes homophily means the degree to which a pair of individual who communicate are similar in certain attributes okay homophily means what it is the degree it is the degree to which a pair of individuals uh, who communicate are similar in certain characters certain attributes which are the character characters that is your beliefs education status and the like just like uh, you all are the students suppose and you all have the same knowledge level you you all have the same knowledge level so that the exchange of ideas beliefs will be somewhat easier as compared to this 
uh, you and the farmers of the villagers okay and another thing is heterophily heterophily is opposite of homophily heterophily is what opposite to the homophily and is degree to which pairs of individuals who interact are different in certain attributes okay it is uh, homophily is what that is uh, similar in certain attributes and heterophily is heterophily is what this similar in certain attributes different in certain attributes or characters okay just like it's in if just like you and the farmers if you go to the uh, if, if a farmers come and read with you then the uh, we can say that the audiences are of heterophilus and also in farmers also you can just see the farmers there is uh, heterophilus they are heterophilus somewhat uh, because all are farmers but uh, there is so many age difference their knowledge level is, level is uh, so uh, knowledge level is uh, very so much gap is there in their knowledge level if someone is reading uh, so much a high educational uh, education uh, just like a, a law doctor that may be a farmer and some people some farmers may be in that village uh, it's a village maybe they cannot read and write also okay there is so we can say that they are uh, heterophilus their their education status is different okay their age is different so their beliefs is also different maybe one community in a community farmer is different from the uh, another community a farmers in beliefs okay then come to agriculture agriculture knowledge and information system akis akis okay agriculture knowledge and information system farmers use many different sources including their own to obtain knowledge and information they need to manage their farms okay they 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 use what different different sources to obtain knowledge just like they from the a uh, research institute they go to the research institute and collect uh, uh, some bulletins and or, also different materials and get knowledge this constitute agricultural knowledge and information system for an area or for a group of people and comprise it comprise what other farmers government extension organization private companies selling inputs and buying the produce banks okay then and also cooperatives other government agencies and marketing boards leaders and elected representatives of the people farmer organization farm publication and mass media voluntary organization etc from different sources it collects information and gain knowledge and it, it constitute what it constitute the it constitute the what it constitute knowledge agriculture knowledge and information system okay then uh, come to perception what is perception what is perception perception uh, is according to gibson 1959 uh, he defined perception as the process by which an individual maintains contact with the environment it just a process perception is what perception is nothing but a process by which individual maintains a contact with the environment Collard, Blackwell, and Angel. Another definition given by Collard, Blackwell, and Angel in 1970 that perception as the process. Perception is a process whereby an individual receives stimuli through the various senses and interpret interprets them. Through various senses means eyes, nose, five senses we have. So different uh, different senses like eyes, nose, and uh, touch, uh, then taste. All these things are uh, our sense. So or uh, through these senses we just receive some stimuli receive stimuli and from the environment whereby an individual receives stimuli through the various senses and interprets them and we just interpret that senses okay then perception of the same situation may differ from individual to individual due to differences in their experiences and ways of looking into it it differs from person to person okay as uh, as every person have a different experience okay the expectation 
needs and ways of thinking influence how an individual interprets what is observed okay what influence how an individual interpret the three things what are the three things that is your expectations needs and ways of thinking okay perception is selective and we perceive what we want to perceive okay perception is selective we, and we just uh, receive only those things which we want to perceive okay our perception organized and we tend to structure our sensory experiences in ways which make sense to us perception is influenced by the environment perception is influenced by the environment in which communication takes place okay it is not the intrinsic quality or attribute of an object individual or message but how people individually and collectively perceive them is important for extension okay next you come to the ninth one is your propaganda publicity and persuasion what is propaganda propaganda is deliberate manipulation of beliefs people's beliefs values and behavior through words gesture gesture um, images thoughts music etc okay it just manipulate the people's belief and it's aimed at propagating beliefs and values of the propagandist and peasants only communicator side of arguments without considering the arguments of the receiver side it don't uh, don't consider the receiver side's argument it just uh, is just say only his argument okay what he is telling that is uh, only will be uh, accomplished and uh, he will not listen in this propaganda they will not listen what the feedback or argument the argument of the receiver okay then come to publicity publicity is based on truth publicity is based on truth and propaganda often suppresses the truth propaganda often suppress what the truth but publicity is based on truth one sided communication giving view points of only the message that is your source message okay source ignoring the source ignoring the view points of the receiver of the message may sound propaganda despite the message being based on truth whether it may be uh, truth okay if it is truth something uh, what you are publishing that is truth that doesn't mean that it it is it is publicity it if it does not receive the it does not receive the what this receiver side then we will call as propaganda then propaganda is often authoritarian in approach in influencing the people it is it just uh, it is uh, we can say that authoritarian approach authority authoritarian approach is propaganda style where uh, where they influence the people through propaganda style okay on the contrary persuasion next come to persuasion persuasion is more democratic in influencing the audience to bring about change in their attitude and behavior this is the act of causing uh, what uh, just uh, say that in uh, extension in extension people in extension agent what they do they show the benefits advantages of some technology and they uh, they create such situation so that the people will accept them okay then come to development communication development communication what is development development is the improvement in the what social change and social change how it will improve by social socio economic status if the socio economic status in, uh, improve then they are uh in their development will will be done okay so development uh, if development uh, involve communication then we will call as development communication communication as you know communication involves what computers telecommunications internet huh? uh, just like uh, this, if they involve de- uh, development if, if involve communication technology then we call as development communication okay then come to communication network what is communication network 
communication network is nothing but it consists of interconnected individuals who are linked by pattern flows of information here the flow of information uh, flow of information is done okay in a pattern manner in a pattern the information is flows okay from one to others the network interconnectedness of an individual in a social system is positively related to the individual's innovativeness according to rogers 1995 okay next come to referendum what is referendum referendum uh, is uh, is a direct vote it is a direct vote in which an entire electorate is invited to vote and vote on a particular proposal proposal here the total whole people are invited to vote on a on something uh, some one something one topic only and there uh, there they decide a law they adopt a law by uh, consenting all the people the vote uh, here uh, the all people vote there it is uh, referendum is also called as plebiscite p l e b i s c i t plebiscite or a vote on a ballot question is also called as vote on a ballot question okay next come to second one is meaning of communication we will discuss meaning of communication 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 is an english word communication is an english word it is derived from the latin word communis which means establishing commonness it just establish what commonness okay communist means what establishing commonness extension worker if use communication process effectively then only they get success communication main purpose the main purpose of communication is what to influence the behavior of individual okay the main purpose of communication is what to influence the behavior of the people then come to definition definition of communication here you can see that uh, this is the picture of jp ligon 1961 okay j paul ligon 1961 given uh, has given a definition what communication according to ligon is what the process by which two or more people exchange ideas facts feelings or impressions in a ways in ways that each gains a common understanding of the meaning intent and use of message then communication is a conscious attempt to share information ideas attitudes and the like with others okay it involves what how many people more than two people two or more than two people okay and what it exchanges ideas facts feelings or impression between those people okay in which way such a way that both have the common understanding and meaning intent and use of that message okay then come to second definition given by hovland in uh, 1964 another another scientist uh, developed uh, is given what definition of communication he told that uh, it involves uh, communication individual or communicator transmit what stimuli it transmit what stimuli so that the it helps in change the behavior okay it helps in changing the behavior of the communicator communicative means the ultimate this is what the message okay it just uh, here add stimuli transmission of stimuli okay and also next come to communication uh, given by communication definition given by rogers and somaker here you can he, he, it is uh, given in which year 1971 here he told that source source from source Uh, message is transfer to the receiver okay communication is the process by which messages are transferred from a source to receiver okay nothing else here just uh, the source message and receiver 
here you can see the message messenger symbol message symbol okay just source message and receiver three elements he just Abhat Rogers is a name uh, here you can see the pictures of Rogers huh? and his uh, uh, most uh, important books written by him is diffusion of innovation Rogers book okay then come to communication definition uh, given by Van den Ben and Hawkins in 1988 1988 uh, Van den Ben and Hawkins or A.W. Van den Ben here you can see the picture Van den Ben uh, and Van den Ben Hawkins written a book agriculture extension and according to him Van den Ben and Hawkins Hawkins another person uh, both uh, has given both have given what De which definition here he told that uh, <coughs> he tells that what communication is the process of sending and receiving here the sending and receiving process is going on okay sending and receiving messages through channels through channels the sending and receiving of message is going on which establishes common meanings between a source and receiver and he just uh, common understanding common meaning okay common meanings or common understanding is establishes here okay next come to basic functions of communication what are the basic functions there are four basic functions of communication first is your information function then is your command or instructive function then influence or persuasive function then integrative function what is information function information function is the what will read first okay the basic requirement of adapting adapting and adjusting oneself to the environment is information there must be some information about what is going on in the environment which concerns the people okay the getting or giving of information underlies all communication function either directly or in indirectly it just helps us to adapt or adjust oneself to the environment by getting information okay it just gives us information if we get information about something then we can easily adjust ourselves to the environment okay then come to command or instructive function command or instruction function you must have listened this word so what is that function those who are hierarchically superior in the family society or organization often initiate communication either for the purpose of informing their subordinates or for the purpose of telling them what to do how to do when to do etc you must have uh, seen in your family also your father or mother uh, directing you that you just uh, do that how will do that what to do eh? when to do which they uh, instruct you okay they instruct you they command you that you should not do this you should do this okay just like that the command and instructive function of communication are more observable in formal organization than in informal organization it is saying that uh, mostly it is uh, uh, in just uh, like institution in family you can say i will not do that uh, to your uh, parents also but in the institution you cannot say that i will not write i uh, write the practical records uh, just like here huh? i will not write, uh, attend the class then automatically you will be punished so you have to order the uh, you have to obey the order rules regulation in formal it is mostly seen in formal institution then come to third one is your influence or persuasive function third one is what influence or persuasive function according to Volo 1960 the sole purpose of communication is to influence people the sole purpose of communication is what to influence the people okay we all know sole purpose of communication is what the influence to influence the people persuasive functions of communication that is to induce people is extremely important for extension uh, extension in changing their behavior in the desirable direction here in persuasive function uh, just uh, uh, extension agent go to the village and if uh, he want to he or she want to transfer in technology then he just uh, create such an environment where the people of that village uh, just uh, adopt the technology they gives benefits advantages of the technology and uh, so that they 
get the information then uh, fourth one is your integrative function fourth one is your integrative function here it is telling that a major function of communication is integration at the interpersonal or at the organizational level interpersonal or organizational level okay interpersonal or organizational level this helps to maintain individual societal and organizational stability and identity okay here it is telling that major function it is the major function of the communication and it involves what it, it integrates integrates the person in an organization so that they work together and your uh, your communication will be effective so that your purpose or your aim will be accomplished okay it helps uh, to maintain individual societal or organizational stability and identity okay next come to the models of communication here we will read seven models of communication okay first model is aristotle model second is lasol models then shannon over model then scram model then your ballo model and sixth one is your ligands model and last one is your rogers and somaker models of communication okay one by one we will discuss this first is your aristotle model of communication it is developed in 384 to 322 bc it is the first basic persuasive communication model according to aristotle this aristotle uh, there is three ingredients that is your speaker speech audience speech is also called as message and audience is nothing but your listener according to aristotle a message in bar message preparation involved invention organization language memory and delivery invention invention is nothing but the finding material to be included in the message then your organizing organizing is the arrangement of the material in some uh, persuasive manner then language or style is the to fit the speaker and the audience and memory and delivery is the practice of actual presentation next come to second model is your lasol model of communication it is developed in 1948 by harold lasol okay he include include six ingredients that is your who says or does not say then what what say what then in which channel to whom then under what circumstances and last one is your with what effect here the communicator and is uh, and his message are all important a close look at these questions uh, provides a simple linear one way model of communication although the concept of feedback does not appear in the model still this model exercised a profound influence on the thinking of scholars in communication this model helped laswell's probes into political communication propaganda and political symbolism which were some of the earliest communication researches in social sciences okay next come to the shannon over model of communication developed in 1949 by shannon and over and short form is your shannon over model short form is your stsrd here uh, the uh, five, five ingredients are here in shannon and over model what are those source transmitter then signal then receiver uh, and th- uh, last one is your destination okay here shannon and over model it is the constant of const- consistent with it is cons- shannon and over model is consistent with aristotle proposition compare with the aristotle model source is the speaker signal is the speech and destination is the audience plus plus two added ingredients a transmitter which sends out source message and a receiver which catches the message for the destination okay then in shannon over model also here in this model uh, five key components you can uh, key components that is your first is your uh, 
an information source information an information source which produces a desired message out of a set of possible message written or spoken uh, spoken words picture music etc and second one is your uh, transmitter uh, which changes this message into signals suitable for transmission third one is your uh, channel uh, which carries signals from the transmitter to the receiver fourth one is your a receiver uh, a sort of a sort of inverse transmitter which transfers the transmitted signals back into the into a message and the last one is a destination the final consumer of the message okay in the process of uh, transmitting signals some unwanted disturbances such as sound in the case of radio telephone or distortions of shape or picture in the case of television etc called noise are also likely to be added hence there is need to pay attention to noise a key problem in this model is how to overcome noise and how much redundancy is necessary so that the receiver can successfully reconstruct a message from signals disseminated by noise okay next come to fourth one is your scrams model of communication what is this scrams model of communication we will read it is scrams model of communication is developed in 1964 uh, by scrams and its short form is csdd a csdd okay scram model of uh, scram model of communication include five ingredient that is your source encoder signal decoder and destination here scram model of communication is particularly relevant for the mass media scram model is relevant to the for mass media okay then here uh, in in human communication it is most important whether people can properly encode or decode the signal or message that is uh, and how they interpret it in their own situation okay next come to the here uh, the picture uh, says here you can see that encoder encoder here the message is encoded into code and it is transferred through the channels uh, and to receiver that is your receiver into status box is your receiver here decode uh, decoding is uh, uh, done uh, which is coded message coded message is decoded and converted to the understandable message will form okay and this to the destination okay next come to the ballo model of communication fifth one is your ballo model of communication here in ballo model of communication uh, ballo model of communication is developed in 1960 1960 it is developed in 1960 it is also in short form is smcr sometimes called and also sometimes smcdr smcdr also it is called okay in the here uh, here the same cdr means your source encoder message channel decoder receiver okay there are three six elements six elements but uh, here in the first event developed it is included major uh, force four major four uh, elements that is your source message channel receiver okay here source uh, source should have uh, source should have he Ballo told that a source should have communication skill, attitude, knowledge, social system, culture, and message should have that element, structure, content, treatment, and code. And channel, channel includes what? Channel includes your uh, seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, tasting. And receiver is as same as the source uh, quality. The quality of uh, receiver should have that quality, communi communication skill, attitude. Uh, knowledge social system okay knowledge social system and culture here uh, in this model communication is seen as a continuous process in which knowledge is reduced by a process called feedback as stated earlier this model include four elements okay already we have discussed this uh, then <coughs> Here, next come to the sixth uh, is your ligands model of communication 
that is developed in 1963 and its short form is cmc tar okay uh, cmc tar uh, that is cmc tar uh, is a communicator message channel treatment audience and response it is what uh, communicator message channel treatment audience response okay then here uh, it is saying that the task of communication according to him is to provide powerful in incentives for change successful at this task requires through a thorough understanding of the six elements of communication a skillful communicator sending useful message through proper channel effectively treated to an appropriate uh, audience that respond as desired okay next come to your last one is your uh, rogers and somaker model of communication that is your 90 uh, that is developed in 1971 and the short form of this rogers and somaker model of communication is smcre model here uh, he include uh, five, uh, five element that is your source message channel receiver and effects what are those uh, source here according to them a source sends a message via certain channel to the receiving individual which causes some effects that is changing the existing behavior pattern of the receiver communication in extension may also be thought of as two way stimulus response communication in extension may also be thought of as two way stimulus response situation in which the necessary stimulus is provided by the communicator the extension agent communicator is your extension agent in the form of message which produces certain response on the audience the farmer audience is your farmers and vice versa a favorable response by the audience then forces learning if favorable response uh, uh, occur then only your learning will be occur okay next come to the elements of communication in elements of communication we will read uh, the ligand's model of communication that is involved uh, six elements that is communicator message channel then treatment and presentation uh, then uh, receiver or audience and last one is respons response or feedback okay this is the here you can see the elements what are the first is your communicator and message or content message also called as content uh, channel then treatment then receiver uh, or audience and last one is your feedback or response uh, audience response okay so uh, here you can see that communicator uh, communicator is uh, transferring some uh, he is the in the context of agriculture and rural development extension agent is the communicator who starts the process of communication the extension agent obtains uh, here uh, extension agent uh, uh, obtains the required information from this search and carries it to the audience to the audience is your farmers here here the audience uh, uh, here you just think about just convert this in our rural area that is will be your audience will be your farmer in uh, in uh, rural development and agriculture sector the extension agent is the communicator a carrier of information the credibility of the communicator and the organization the individual uh, depends is important for effective communication and credibility means trustworthiness and competency should be there in of uh, credibility should be there in communicator okay communicator should be trustworthiness and before the audience accepts the any message it will judge whether the communicator and the organization the individual represents can be relied upon and is competent enough to give the information okay and what is here he is sending message message the recommendation from this search the technology constitute the content or subject matter uh, subject matter is also is nothing but your message information which is relevant to a particular set of uh, audience constitute the message but the, otherwise for them there is noise okay a good message should clearly state what to do how to do then when to do and what would be the reason to produce desirable changes in human behavior the message must be motivating okay message which are relevant interesting useful profitable and credible latest and best based on research findings and complete neither too much not too little are likely to motivate the people okay then come to the channel okay channel is channel of communication 
constitute the medium. It is the medium. Channel is what? The medium through which information flows from a sender to a receiver. Okay, sender to one or more receiver. It is face to face. What word of mouth is the face to face word of mouth is the simplest and yet one of the most widely used and effective means of communication, particularly for the developing countries. As society changes from traditional to modern, the emphasis shifts from oral to media system of communication. Now it is converted into media system of communication because of the large number of audience or receivers of information and because of physical distance of communicator and the receiver of information it is necessary to use different media of communication here we can use media of communication to repeat transfer of the information even in interpersonal face to face word of mouth communication it becomes necessary to use some ads to make communication more effective like your speaker okay then in channel uh, here it is the physical base or avenue also called uh, okay and here uh, feedback is uh, coming back and what is ch channel classification can channel is classified into three uh, according to uh, three type of classification three type that is first is your first type of classification form according to form it is uh, divided into two types that is your spoken and written spoken is farm and home visit second is your farmers call uh, example Example of spoken, uh, what are the examples? Farm and home visit, then uh, farmer's call, meetings, radio talk, etc. And written, written include personal letter, farm publications, newspaper, etc. Then come to according to nature of personal involved. Nature, according to nature of personal involved, uh, these are uh, divided into three parts that is personal localite, personal cosmoplite, impersonal cosmoplite. Personal localite means what? Personal means that is a person. And local area means that is a from local area okay that is uh, for example local leader local leader are from the uh, they are the local leaders and local people who belong to the they are belong to the receiver's own social system they are belong to the receiver's own social system and personal localite channels are important in traditional social system they are uh, important in when well uh, traditional social system okay they are local from the local area of that receiver then personal cosmoplite that is person personal means that is person that is a person but that is not local area from not local area that is outside the uh, outside the uh, social system of the receiver that is your extension agent extension these are the channels of uh, communication personal cosmopolite is the channels of communication uh, from outside the social system of the receiver okay remember this one the most important one is um, personal cosmopolite personal localite uh, personal localite is the the channel of communication which are uh, from the receiver's own social system and personal personal cosmopolite is the, uh, the uh, channels of communication from outside the social system of the receiver they are the extension agent various organization of uh, various organization and are important in changing the farmers from traditional to modern then come to impersonal cosmopolite impersonal cosmopolite that is impersonal impersonal means what impersonal means that is not a person okay and cosmoplite means outside the uh, social system of the so outside the social system of the your receiver so here the channels of communication are uh, from outside the social system of the receiver and at the same time no personal face to face contact is involved they are, uh, these are mass media for example your mass media mass media is not a person and it is outside the social system of the receiver uh, which are important in areas high urban influence and farmers who are modern uh, or are changing from traditional to modern then come to third form uh, third uh, classification is nature of contact with people that is your individual group mass first is individual contact means extension agent communicates with the people individually and individually the extension agent meet the people maintain separate identity of each person okay and what is the example farm and home visit farmers call personal letter etc they contact individually and next come to group contact what is group contact the extension agent communicates with the people in groups and not uh, and not as individual person okay here they are uh, contacting people communicating people in group group meeting for example group meeting small group training field day or farmers day study tour etc 
are the examples of group contact and then here uh, then what is your mass mass okay next come to the mass contact mass contact the extension agent communicates with the mass of people without taking into consideration their individual or group identity okay they are not taking uh, individually or group they are taking people as a mass for example uh, mass meeting campaign exhibition radio television etc then uh, then come to the characteristics uh, uh, characteristics before or uh, characteristics uh, then come to detail in characteristics of the communicator okay communicator uh, is uh, he should have the skill in message okay he should have skill in message which type of skill in message which type of skill should have he should have ha huh? first is your skill should, should have selecting message how he will select the message then Uh, treating that message how will he will treat the message select and treat the message then expressing message verbal and written form uh, how he he have to he has to express that message then uh, selection and use of channels uh, second is your channel how this uh, he will uh, select the channel and use then understanding the audience uh, how he will understand, understand the audience then collecting evidence of results okay then he collect evidence from our results and and know he knows the he knows what he knows the objectives have them specifically defined which are specifically defined objects should be specifically defined and their audience audience he should uh, know the audience their needs and their interest abilities predispositions okay then uh, the message he should know the message its content message clearly he should know the message clearly message means sir that is content validity usefulness importance of that message then uh, channels he should know the channels that will reach the audience okay then organization and treatment of message then organization and treatment of the message he should know how to organize and treat the message okay and then the professional abilities and limitations he should know the professional abilities and limitations then he should interest should be interested in what audience and its welfare audience and uh, the audience will hear then his message and how uh, the message and how it ha- it can help people he should know okay he should be interested he should be interested in what the uh, how the message can help the people and he should be interested in what uh, results of communication and their evaluation also and he should uh, also in- interested in communication process and also interested in use uh, how to uh, use communication channel uh, use the uh, use communication channels properly and li- what are the limitations and also he sk- the improvement of the communication skill he should be interested in sk- improvement in skill okay in improvement in skills uh, skill okay then he should prepare a plan he should prepare a plan for a communication a teaching plan he should prepare a teaching plan then he should uh, he should uh, prepare communication material and equipment also and also he will pre- he should prepare a plan for evaluation of results okay and here communicator is the start uh, communication start the communication process okay remember this then come to the message message uh, in message you can see that message it is also called arguments appeals stimuli also it also controls the communication process information okay what are the characteristics of message in line first is your in line objective to be attained okay in line the objective should be attained objective should be attained in one line clear it should be object message should be clear understandable by the audience and in line with the mental social economic and physical capabilities of the audience okay and it should be significant message should be significant economically socially or aesthetically to the needs interest and values of the audience then specific it should be specific no irrelevant material should be there it should be simply stated message should be simply stated cover few pertinent points at a time 
than accurate its uh, message should be accurate scientifically sound uh, factual and current then timely timely especially when uh, seasonal factors are important and issues are current then the message should be uh, reached okay then supported by message uh, is supported by uh, factual material it should collect, uh, contain the fact, fact material factual material covering both sides of the argument and also uh, message should be appropriate to the channel selected then it should be appealing and attractive to the audience having utility and uh, immediate immediate use okay then your uh, it should be applicable uh, a message should be applicable uh, can and can apply a recommendation to one's own particular situation okay next is your adequate it should be adequate so that uh, combining principle adequate to uh, combining principle and practices in effective proportion okay principle and practice in effective proportion and it should be manageable Man message should be manageable can be it can be handled uh, by the communicator and within the limits of time and resource okay next come to your characteristics of channel okay uh, here uh, characteristics of channel uh, it includes a careful direction then use in right way then timely it should be timely and uh, uh, channel and right job should uh, be for right job right purpose right audience and all in relation to the message okay next come to the treatment and presentation treatment and presentation treatment and presentation here uh, treatment and treatment, treatment means the way treatment means the way a message is here you can see that it includes what the way a message uh, way a message processed to so that the information gets across to the audience okay information should reach the audience and make message clear understandable and realistic to the audience realistic to the audience presentation means how uh, presentation means how the message is communicated uh, or placed uh, before the audience okay presentation means what presentation means the message how the message is communicated or placed before an audience then treatment and presentation treatment and presentation depends on what depend on the choice of channel and nature of audience it depend on what the choice of channel treatment and presentation of the channel shall depend to a great extent on choice of the channel and the nature of audience then it require treat, uh, treatment and presentation require uh, um, presentation uh, treatment and presentation of message equally require what original thinking deep insight into deep in this deep insight into the principle of human behavior and skill in creating and using refined techniques of communication okay next come to the, uh, here three categories of basis are useful for varying treatment first is your matters of general organization then second is your uh, matters of speaking and acting and third is your matters of symbol variation and devices for representing ideas matters of general organization uh, include what repetition contrast ideas uh, then uh, chrono it should be chronological presenting one side only emotional emotional compared to logical then starting with strong arguments it should be start with strong arguments inductive com inductive inductive compared to directive then general to the specific it should be general to the specific and explicitly drawing conclusion okay these are the nine uh, nine uh, these are the character uh, for varying treatment okay first category for the first category of matters of general organization second uh, second category is matters of speaking and acting here it includes what too many ideas okay it includes what too many ideas uh, then be yourself then uh, know the facts then uh, and uh, don't read your speech here it, it is saying that too many uh, don't use too many ideas at a time be yourself don't uh, don't uh, over over uh, over react or over confidence okay know the facts you should know the facts then don't read your speech when you are presenting then don't read the uh, read the uh, thing that is uh, what you are saying uh, want to speak speak okay don't read that words 
or sentence know the audience you, you have to know the audience then uh, avoid being a condensed condensed thing then decide on the dramatic effect desired then use alternative communicators when appropriate then audience appeals is a uh, psychological bridge to getting a message delivered and quit on time and you have to finish the uh, presentation in time on time okay and then third category is matters of symbol variation and devices devi- devices for representing ideas okay how it uh, this is uh, first is your word symbol speech then real objects it should be real objects models specimens photographs graphs charts motion pictures slides dry, drama puppet songs flashcards etc is used for treatment of the message okay then come to the receiver or audience receiver or audience the audience or receiver of the message is target uh, oriented target of com- com- communication function target is the target of communication function okay it is uh, target uh, target is source oriented uh, okay then an audience may consist of a single person or a number of persons okay this is source oriented and target of communication function is what that is your audience okay then an, an audience uh, may consist of a single person or a number of persons it may comprise man and woman okay uh, an audience may be uh, man or woman and it, it comprises Okay, an audience may be formed according to occupation groups such as crop farmers, crop farmers, fruit farmers, dairymen, uh, poultry keepers, uh, fish farmers, homemakers, etc. Audience may also be categorized according to some farm size such as marginal, small, medium, or big farmers, or according to whether uh, they belong to scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, etc. Communication to be successful must be target oriented. Okay, the communicator must know. Uh, the uh, target communicator must know the target their needs interests resources facilities constraints and even their approximate number and location okay and communicators characteristics directly impact the, directly impact, the uh, impact on audience it's uh, if uh, homogeneous then communication will be smooth okay what is audience segmentation audience segmentation according to rogers audience segmentation rogers 1995 Uh, audience segmentation is a communication strategy that consists of and finds certain sub audience uh, within a total audience and then conveying a special message to each of these sub audience first he just uh, convert the uh, heterophilus uh, heterophilus uh, audience into the homophilus uh, he breaks sub audience then it converted into relatively homophilus sub audience then it will be easy to and helpful to the transfer of com- uh, message easily okay then come to last one last element is your audience response or feedback that is audience response is the ultimate objective uh, is the response to message uh, here response of the audience is the ultimate objective of any communication function okay response of an audience to message received by uh, received may be in the form of some kind of action mental or physical okay response may be in the kind of some action it may be in, in some the kind of action mental or physical then until the desired action results extension communication does not achieve its most essential objective the possible kind of response to messages received are almost infinite okay almost infinite okay. here uh, it is a feedback feedback is source oriented uh, uh, earlier i have told that is receiver is source oriented that is not that the feedback is source oriented and uh, your communication is uh, uh, communication is target oriented target is your audience okay feedback is your uh, source oriented very in different situation feedback is very in different situation okay affects here uh, feedback Uh, it is telling that extension communication is never complete without feedback information feedback means getting some significant response of the audience back to the communicator communication work is not an end in itself okay the the extension agent should know what has happened to the audience after the message has reached them okay he should know what has happened after the message transferred feedback should be a continuous process as the audience and communicators are neither uh, always the same person nor they are interacting in this same situation 
ओके दि एक्सटेंशन एजेंट सर नेक्स्ट इज योर एक्सटेंशन एजेंट एक्सटेंशन एजेंट इज एक्सटेंशन एजेंट सेल टेक स्टेप्स टू एनालाइज दि रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ दि ऑडियंस हुई मे बी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव और नो रेस्पॉन्स If there has been no response or negative response to a message, the extension agent shall find out reasons for the same. If it uh, pertains to, if it pertains to research, the problem should be referred as uh, feedback information to research uh, to find out solutions for the same. And what are the characteristics uh, of uh, the uh, feedback? Feedback is it should be source oriented. And um, varies in different communication situation. Varies in these are the here you can see that it is the characteristic of the feedback. Source it should be source oriented. Varies in different communication situation. Affects the source or communicator. Exert control over our future messages. Affects communication fidelity. Maintains the stability and equilibrium of a communication system. Okay. Next. come to the types and barriers of communication six one is your uh, types and barriers of communication okay Now what is communication system plays an important role important role in the rapid growth of sustainable agriculture it is the vital bridge that carries the result of research from the laboratory laboratory to the field a steady flow of accurate understandable and factual information links the scientist with the farmers there are some communication barriers which district uh, district uh, successful uh, successful and effective communication of new ideas and uh, these just uh, some barriers uh, we'll read now some barriers which are related to the communicator are different values and customs different values and customs how it is uh, it uh, he disregards Uh, the communicator disregards the values and customs of the audience due to social status difference as the social status is difference he disregards the values and customs then that will be problem then use less knowledge if uh, the communicator has less knowledge about the message itself its validity and usefulness okay if he is a less knowledge okay of the message or content next third one is your uh, no audience if uh, the lack of knowledge about people their need interest and ability if the communicator don't know the audience their need people need their need people interest and ability then there will be barrier in communication also and fourth one is your uh, knowledge on method of communication knowledge on method of communication that is uh, if he has little uh, knowledge of the method of communication then there will be problem then come to uh, the next one is your um, barriers related to message first is your not applicable irrelevant complex unattractive not clear if message is not applicable here if the message is not applicable irrelevant complex unattractive and not clear then also there will be problem barrier in transmission of information if it conflicts the if message conflicts with the major values of the audience if it conflicts what major values of the audience then also a problem ha huh? then unrealistic if message is unrealistic in the form of their local skills and resources okay then if uh, message uh, does not last one is your frame of reference if message does not have a frame of reference with the previous knowledge then also there will be problem then also will uh, noise is obstruction that prevents the message uh, another some points just remember uh, noise is obstruction that prevents the message from being heard by or carried over clearly to the audience noise is anything in the channel other than what the source puts there noise may occur due to many reasons okay wrong handling of the channels of communication affects the fidelity of communication also if a channel of communication then just like radio newspaper uh, meeting or two is not used uh, following the correct procedure uh, then the purpose of communication will not be fulfilled then if wrong selection of channel acts as a hindrance in effective communication also all channels it is related to channel okay all channels are not equally suitable for all purposes and in all situation 
for example mass media are useful to create awareness whereas uh, newspapers are suitable for educated urban people okay mass media is useful for uh, creating awareness but newspaper is are suitable for educated urban people only if a, a, a wrong channel means a, if newspaper is, uh, is given to the uh, illiterate people then who uh, don't uh, don't read cannot read then it will be unsuccessful so suitable channel should be selected then physical distraction often comes in way of communication for example if the extension worker stands in such a way that audience are unable to view the screen while delivering a presentation using projector communication will be incomplete okay so uh, it is a problem then also next uh, last one is using in, in, in inadequate channels in parallel if inadequate channels in parallel then also there will be problem the more channels a communicator uses at the same time the more chances are uh, there uh, are there for the message to get through and be understood clearly okay then what are the this uh, various related to audience or uh, receiver uh, here you can see that uh, various related to self interest audience does not have self interest okay if audience uh, have no self interest then also every year he does not have uh, understood understand the importance of communication okay he, he understand he cannot understand the importance of communication then only then also uh, transfer of communication will be uh, hindered okay then uh, industry locker then laggards if audience laggards means he is a tradition bound and does not adopt the new technology easily uh, then also then last one is fatalistic most of the audience are fatalistic and do not believe in skill and knowledge okay then or uh, attention of the audience if attention that is already self interest okay if the audience is not attentive uh, to the communicator due to many reasons physical discomfort irrelevant message on on uh, on timely the message will not be communicated as in the intended need interest and ability of the uh, audience are also the determinants of audience attention then cooperation audience cooperation participation and involvement are essential to effective communication also communication is a two way process communication is a two way process if communicator and the receiver are not in the same wavelength uh, effective communication may not be occurred okay then problem of homogeneity and heterogeneity effective communication occurs between two homogeneous individuals whereas heterogeneity hinders uh, the communication the more an extension workers uh, and his audience are homogeneous the more impact is likely to occur then is your another various uh, pertaining to receiver is the attitude of the audience towards the communicator if the attitude of the audience is favorable then the communication communication process will take place uh, suitably uh, well but if the uh, if the attitude is unfavorable towards the communicator then it will the communication process will be hindered okay if uh, it is the role of it is the role of communicator to make audience uh, audience attitude favorable towards him okay other barriers come to other barriers of communication some other barriers are here uh, first is your technical then semantic then influential physical psychological cultural organizational language illiterate mass uh, illiterate mass knowledge political ability to tackle problem what is technical problem technical problems uh, technical barriers are uh, the, uh, are related to noise problems resulting from the inaccurate transmission and interpretation of the message if the uh, message is inaccurately transmitted and interpreted then we can say that that is a technical problem okay uh, certain undesirable elements creeping into the process are responsible for this such as blurred picture like your uh, like your blurred picture blurred picture then a error in transmission leading to distortion of message then come to semantic problem what is semantic problem 
semantic problem uh, are the problems related to the meaning of words and meaning of words and sentences even a common word uh, may have um, several meanings which may lead to misinterpretation of the message if common word may have several meanings if one word have several meanings then also there will be misinterpretation of the message okay if the problems related to meanings of words and sentence then it is called as your semantic problems then come to influential problem what is influential problem the problems are concerned with the success with which the message conveyed leads to desirable change in the behavior of the receiver because the purpose of all communication is to influence the behavior of the receiver okay what is this influential problem influential problem is the problem which are concerned with what the success with which the message conveyed the success with which message conveyed leads to the desirable change in the behavior of the receiver because the purpose of all communication person, uh, communication is what to influence the behavior of the receiver then come to the physical problem what is physical problem these are the problems related to voice and speech of the speaker if the voice of uh, voice or and speech of the speaker is unreasonable body and uh, is not uh, audible then unreasonable body language stage phobia huh? or uh, fear to uh, fear stage phobia means fear to the stage or faulty transmission of message by radio station is your physical problems then psychological problems what are the psychological problems psychological problems uh, are related to the failure to connect a language with the reality inability to articulate uh, articulate personal experience with that of the audience etc okay what is psychological problem psychological problem are the related to failure to connect language with the reality okay inability to articulate personal experience then it is with the uh, with that of the audience then it is called a psychological problem then come to cultural problem cultural problems are those are these problems uh, these problem uh, cultural problems are the problems related to the way of communication system way communication system is related to the a culture ethical problems in communication etc okay next is your lang- uh, organizational problem then language language barrier if uh, different language huh? then illiterate mass then noise political then ability to tackle problem okay this much only thank you